Hey guys, Machines and Metal here. Just want to show you what I'm working on today, Sunday, on this beautiful day at the shop. Anyway, I've got a couple of tractors here I gotta fix. This uh, John Deere rider mower with the big old uh, 25 horse. It's a Briggs and Stratton, nice motor. Uh, this one just ran like garbage. It uh, it would only run on choke. As soon as you took it off choke, it would it would sputter and die. Um, I took the carburetor apart, blew it all out. It looked pretty clean inside and uh, put it back together and no change. It ran like garbage. So I took it apart a second time, blew it out a second time, put it all back together and now she purrs like a kitten. So obviously there was something, something blocking a jet. Runs just great. This one's got a hundred. Oh, sorry. Where is it? Where is it? Right there. 173 hours on it, and it looks like the customer does take good care of it. It's nice. So, next item up for bid: this Toro. Uh, these are actually made by MTD. If you look at that that decal, you recognize that model number is actually an MTD model number. Toro never made rider mowers late in the game. The original old school Toro have made rider mowers, but recently they haven't. They're into the zero turn thing. Uh, this machine's about six years old. It's owned by an old guy that never uses it. And it's only got, I don't know if you can see that, um, 20, 223 hours, is it? Low hours, it's in nice shape, it's kept in the garage. He uh, needs a new battery and a blade sharpen. Probably do an oil change on it for him as well. Uh, here's a Husqvarna rider mower. Uh, just in for a service, blade sharpen, oil change, filters, things like that. Give it a clean, nice machine. This machine uh, someone gave to me. It's a uh, John Deere LT150. I've been servicing it every year for the customer uh, for the last 10 years and she finally decided to buy a brand new machine. She bought an, I think it's an XT350, she spent about 8,000 bucks on it, 7,000 bucks. Anyway, she told me I could have this, so um, the hood broke off as they all do, if you know about these machines. So I'm going to repair the hood. I gave it a good power wash and a clean and it comes with a bagging kit which is nice. So I'll be able to, to flip this for about 500 bucks. It's a nice gift to receive in the springtime. Here's another old Husqvarna. This one's a customer. It's only used for hauling a uh, trailer around. So it's here for an oil change. And uh, he wanted some new tires. These tires are getting pretty bald. So I have these spare tires off another lawn tractor that I wrecked. And uh, I'm gonna install those for him. Do an oil change, bring it back tomorrow. Here's a Kubota. Uh, this machine runs no better than that first machine over there that uh, John Deere that I've got. Carburetor problems, runs like garbage. So I'm gonna do the carb job on this one next. Here's a John Deere I've had for a couple years in storage. I'm gonna uh, install that deck right there onto it and sell this. I get three or 400 bucks for this. It's in nice shape, it's got low hours. They used it for towing a drag mat at a baseball diamond. Never, never cut a blade of grass in its life, so I got a deck. Got a deck from another machine. This didn't come with the deck. They removed it and threw it out years ago. And then this is an old Arians hydrostatic um, monster machine. Um, this is a pretty cool unit. I picked this up a long time ago. Actually, for the farm here where, I, where I'm doing these jobs, they needed a machine to drag a, a harrow around a horse ring, and they wanted a big heavy-duty mower to cut this, this nasty, nasty stuff all around me. So I got this and I haven't really gotten to working on it yet, but I will. I'm going to clean this up, make it nice, and, and uh, then I'm going to leave it here for these guys here at the, at the farm to use because they need a good machine for, for getting some jobs done. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you real quick what I'm up to today. Sunday, it's not raining. Um, hopefully get uh, four of these done today. Get rid of them tomorrow because I have a big surprise coming. You guys are going to love this. Um, I went to a local a local uh, repair shop that uh, is getting rid of some equipment and I bought 20 rider mowers. 20. Um, 
I've queued up some barn space to put them and I'm gonna do a bunch of videos on the fix and repairs and we're gonna flip them all and turn a big fat profit make another one of those 10k videos for you guys all right thanks for watching stay tuned